So here I am in the room and I don't have any of the filters applied at all. So you can see that I actually do have a headset on. It's similar to the color of my hair. They're earbuds that go in my ear and you really can't see them once the effect is turned on. The background is green. I'm purposely wearing a green t-shirt to show you why you shouldn't wear green in your clothes when you're doing this. This green towel is, is covering up a microphone. So the microphone is actually there, but I've got this cloak of invisibility on it. And you'll notice my skin tone is a little bit red. So I apply a filter to correct for that. And now I'm going to tell the computer to take out everything that's green. And this is the what's called the chroma key background. So the microphone is still there. It's just being taken out. I have to move the towel in a way so it doesn't have any reflections off of it. But you can also see that it's taking out most of my t-shirt that was green. Now, if you put this against a scene, it gives a very strange effect. And if you're not purposely trying to do this, it can be a little bit eerie. So let me do that now. So here I'm in the scene and my green t-shirt, you can still see the green lantern on there. He's still on there. It looked like a floating head. So if that's the effect that you want, then yes, you can do that. But otherwise, it can be quite jarring if someone's not expecting it because it looks very unnatural. And the microphone is still there. Okay, I can move in front of the towel and I can take the cloak and visibility off of it. And you can see the microphone is still there. And also notice that the ear set kind of blends in when I'm talking. You really can't see that it's there, but there is a wire going out my back.